What's up, everybody? It's Nate Bargetsy, the Nate Land Podcast. And if you are watching this video, Aaron is dead. <laughs> uh, all right. I thought I'd joke a while ago. Uh, this is an episode that we are recording uh, just as kind of a backup episode. Honestly, in case Aaron dies or Brian dies or COVID or other reasons, maybe you guys get sick. I assume I'll always be here. Healthy as a horse. But if you die, the podcast stops. We don't keep going. No, we if just, you die. This episode gets aired over and over again. Yeah. And it never gets past this episode. And it's me. Maybe we're imposed me. And so then whatever y'all are talking about, I'm always talking about just whatever's on this episode. Okay. Uh, like a hologram. So we recorded this episode. You notice there's no comments at the top of it because we had none. And uh, we don't know when this episode will come out. But it will be in there for in case there's a filler Guess then we put something in, you know, get to the bottom of it. Aaron Weber, Brian Bates, uh, both are local comedians, stand up comedians. <laughs> That's so mean. I know. I, I didn't mean it to be like that. I was kind of thinking of a funny joke, but then I just, that is very funny to say. Very local. Local comics. You can see them all over Nashville, uh, sometimes other counties. And <laughs> always just a drive away from the distance. <laughs> Just a hot, uh, yeah. So, all right. So, uh, this episode, we're going to uh, start with uh, the joke that we we pulled to kind of get us started, to push us in the right direction, is uh, my story from the Cape Fear Cemeterium. Uh It was on Netflix and uh, the stand-ups. So, here it is. All right, there it is. Uh, I tell you what, I look back at that, I and mean, I look like I was storing up for the winter. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my face and my stomach sticks out so far. I mean, my face, it looks like I'm like a healthy bear going into hibernation. Like, you go, I'm good. You good for the winter, Nate? I'm good. I'm good. No, I'll be fine. I'm fine. I'll be, I felt real. I had a great summer. I felt like I had a great summer. Mm. Much different now, dude. I mean, I like I, I don't want to go back. Uh, Did you feel my that stomach way? still sticks out? But I mean, even that we uh, watched the uh, other ones in the past of these. We were, like tonight, a lot of tonight shows, man. Yeah. You just see these videos. My stomach just it sticks out farther than you think. You know, <laughs> button down shirts are brutal. Yeah, and I, but yeah, what's the alternative? Uh, Can't tuck anything in. And I let me tell you, I love tucking stuff in. Really, I. Would tuck everything in if I could. Why? I'm a big fan. I think it looks nice. I like seeing the belt. I like a belt. Uh, okay. I tuck everything in. I would love to tuck everything. I love golfing when you tuck your yeah, shirt in. Yeah. I'm not saying I don't like some loose. I tucked in one thing on a Tonight Show, mm -hmm. uh, and I have a, I wore a sports jacket, and I got a tucked in shirt. And I would say I look like a guy that told you I had a boat, and you're like, <laughs> oh yeah, I'll come see it, and I didn't expect you to say you'd want to see it, and then I. Walk you down to the dock going, it's right over. You sure you want to go keep going? And then you're like, yeah, why not? You know, and I don't have a boat. But yeah, I, I tuck my shirt in there. But yeah, I, I would tuck in. No, I would love. I mean, honestly, I would. That opens my shirt wearing abilities up. What does? Tucking a shirt in. To if, me. If you can tuck in. If you can tuck in the, 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 the platform. I mean, there's a lot more stuff open to me mm -hmm. i don't feel you're as like but when stuff when you drape i think untucked you it gets very drapey and then it like shows you know it just kind of shows everything sometimes you gotta drape dude <laughs> i know but sometimes you tuck in and you feel a little bunched and you feel just a little more oh, yeah. a little more compact protected oh, yeah. yeah i would always try to find i mean that's why i wore, wore jackets on a lot of stuff i wear jackets now i think jackets look good though on stage i would love a suit I'd you would be a suit, a suit guy I would. I like a uniform. Yeah. And uh, I, I like not thinking. I try to get everything down to not thinking. So I want to, when I go on the road, I would want everything to be put, you know, every everything, like I, I don't have to worry about it. And I, I, I would love to wear a suit, especially start doing theaters and just feels like a suit. I don't think maybe where I'm at now, does it feel like these theaters, but if I get to some, you perform at T-Pack more and these yeah. 3000 seat places, 
I it that fits for a suit very well. Mm -hmm. And you know, people dress up to those shows, and people dress up to the shows now. Some of those theaters we play, they're super older. And yeah, uh, I remember you telling me this on the road because you what was that documentary about Jay Z? Oh, Dr. Dre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wearing Doc, the same clothes. Dr. Dre, yeah. You see, yeah. Dr. Dre wears the same clothes. I want to get to that. I, that's why he wears the black on black white sneakers. Mm-hmm. Never never spends any brain power of what he's going to wear. And not that I spend a ton. I mean, I wear golf stuff every day. But I've on shows, I have a, I have a, somewhat a uniform. I wear the same sh- shoes, uh, maybe one to two different pairs of jeans, a jacket, and then the shirt, a T-shirt underneath it. Occasionally, I could maybe mix the jacket up. It, some I do. You do get tired of it. Yeah. Uh, you you feel like I, I, this show feels like you know I wear a hoodie on a. Sh- you're like this f- town feels like I could wear a hoodie. This show feels like I wear. Yeah. It kind of just fits. Yeah. Uh, but I would you know what I've wore on specials. I've liked. I like sneakers. I could see wearing you know, but it, you know, but you start tucking stuff in, you just look a little older. And that's the only thing. Like yeah. Mulaney pulls it off, but it just fits with what he does. Yes. And but what we wear as comics is a big deal. I think comics can dress too far down. Uh but I think other you know, I think you gotta you gotta either look cool, you wanna be cool looking, or you wanna, you know. I I am in the phase now you kinda wanna be cool looking, like, you know, but you get like I turned fifty <sighs> Hello, suit is coming. <laughs> I also think suit never matched my act. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Like a Mulaney, it feels like it's more, it fits what he's yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. And my act is, I'm dumb. <laughs> but somebody, yeah, somebody commented, Nate, what happened to you? You used to dress like a bum and now you dress so stylish. And they wanted to know the story behind it. Well, now it's, now it's, a, well, it's, you just start doing more things. Yeah. And, you know, before when you f- you're first starting, you're doing stuff that you're you're wearing a hoodie on stage, like then hoodies. Where everybody wears a hoodie now, and I, I still wear a hoodie. You know, especially I go to Zanies here in Nashville. Like you just wear a hoodie, do some clubs, just because you feel that now you because now I'm doing theater, so you're now looking at like well, when I go to these comedy clubs, it's I'm trying to do I'm doing a I'm trying to do a good show, but it's like you're it's the workout aspect so you're not going to pop up into a comedy club wearing just to the nines but when you go to a theater and people are spending all this money and they're in the they're buying popcorn drinks and it's a it's a thing that you're like well you do need to come out and look good and look cool and i think that aspect but i don't think it's got to kind of match your act yeah and so i don't know like you know maybe i could be a suit guy with no tie maybe i could be i just like the idea of not thinking about it i I, it just was you can't you got to somewhat choose a style and i've been fortunate to have a couple stylists with things like my netflix special they you get a stylist when i shot the pilot we got a uh stylist and so she i mean you just sit and i wear what they have i took it and i yeah. get in trouble for that <laughs> they said i just left and then it's like well the pilot will go Ooh. uh and here we are Still you took the clothes from the pilot yeah oh i have i have the shoes on I wore these shoes in the pilot. These red shoes. If anybody, oh man, this camera crew is like, <laughs> let's oh get my a god, close. I got yeah, move let's get a close up of those. Let them see it. You got it. We got it. I wore those in the pilot. The uh, that no one will ever see because they own it. I don't know how you get it back. It was like super. You couldn't show it really to anybody. Uh-huh. I they because it was because Sony. It wasn't with Sony, but like with that Sony hack happened. That just like kind of made everything a lot tighter. Oh. Yeah, I, I see. Sometimes pilots get. I mean, I've seen pilots of shows that never got picked up. Do you think there's w- one day that? I mean, maybe one day. I mean, I ought to have them. I ought to ask, and you know, it's like they own. It's 20th Century Fox, and so yeah. they they own it. And then uh, if you owned it, would great. you put it out? Oh yeah, yeah. I would love to show it. Yeah, but you know. So all right, all right. Anyway. So the Cape Fear story got us into thinking about animals and got us into thinking, you know, one thing was like, that was a unique place to go to. That was a going to the Cape Fear place. I always get asked, people always ask me, do you ever go to a reptile place? I went to one in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, and it was, I just were walking down. Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania was awesome, but it was, it felt, 
I swear every time you passed a turn, there was like an alley and it looked like a guy that was like looking at you down the alley. <laughs> like every, you would just go past it and it just looked like, yo, let's get on out of here. Uh, it just felt, for some reason it was like timing out that there's always someone in an alley. And you're like, that guy's, that's not going to be good. <laughs> uh, so I were walking down the street and uh, who was with me? Graham, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, Graham K. Very funny comic. Uh, he had an album come out recently, Graham K. Uh, from Canada. And he, so we're walking down and we see, all I see is a written sign that says reptiles in the, in the, it's printed on just like, you know, they wrote reptiles on paper and put it on the wall. <laughs> And uh, so we're like, I'm like, we got to, this is, this is my thing, dude. I'm like, you know, dive in and drive, drive in diners of reptile <laughs> places. I'm the guy. Yeah. So I go in and it's, I mean, it's, it's just, it's in a bottom of a business. Like it's the bottom, it's the bottom of, of, of office building, older building. And then just all these reptiles, turtles. He had a, a two-headed turtle in there for sale. You could buy a two-headed turtle. I mean, very loose. Like, I, I, it felt like a guy. A two-headed turtle? Yep. Yep. Two-headed turtle for sale. You could like have how it. how much? Like I had it. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't you didn't buy it. How much, yeah, how much would you? I mean, what's a Double, good price? Probably triple. And you're like, but there's only two heads. And he yeah. goes, yeah. you're paying for the experience of the two heads. <laughs> uh, and then, so there was all these like, you know, snakes and he had some alligators uh, and he had all this crazy stuff. And it, I mean, it felt like he was a guy that knew at any point someone that owned the building is going to like, wait, what are you doing down here? Like they, they, he's tricked them into doing this. Yeah. The craziest part, he had a gun in his back pocket and not his back pocket, but he had it like the way gangsters put it in a movie, how they put it on their belt. Oh, loop. wow. It was loose. Yeah. Not like if you see someone with a gun in a holster, you're like that guy's. He carries a gun. Mm -hmm. He's licensed. I'm sure it's real. Mm -hmm. When you see him bent over and it's in the holster and it's kind of out a little bit, so yeah. it's just in his back pocket. <laughs> I'm mean, not his back pocket, but his like his like. I mean, you can't tuck a shirt in. <laughs> Speaking of that, if you have a gun, <laughs> you got to be an untucked guy, right? You don't even. Someone says, "What do you tuck or untuck?" You're like, I used to tuck, but. Started carrying, started packing heat, <laughs> and that changed that. But he had that gun, and then he was like, "Ah, oh, hey, man!" And then we, you know, we were gonna film like some stuff in there, and it was like, it's just not worth it. Yeah. And we tried to go back to do stuff. We tried to call him to see if we could, but I mean, a guy that's willy nilly with a gun like that yeah. in the waistband. Usually, people that have license for that, I don't think they carry it as loosely. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's in a holster. It's mm -hmm. in, you know, you see it's on the belt clip on the side. Tuck the shirt in <laughs> because you want everybody to know. Yeah. This guy, untucked shirt. Yeah. Back pocket. This guy doesn't sound back very waistband. by the book to begin with, right? I mean, it's probably no. an illegal operation to begin with. I'd imagine they're letting yeah. it happen, but they could also not care. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, what's the best zoo you guys, have y'all been to? I think for me, it was when I was with you in Orlando when we went to Wild Florida. The, they oh, were, yes. They were fans of yours. and Yeah, and Wild Vitus. Florida. Awesome, awesome people, man. Yeah. Great. The whole f family run. Yeah. It's like airboats, and they have a bunch of alligators, and you go see them on the Everglades uh, and stuff like that. Wild Florida. They yeah. were, I got the alligator that you see is from there. Yeah, we took it out, to airboats out, saw alligators, and then they brought us back, and we got to feed an alligator. Mm -hmm. oh, we both cool. got to do yeah. that yeah yeah it's a very cool it's one of the you know it's obviously the perks of doing stand-up and then they were very nice and uh super super nice family and yep. they run a really good thing down there i uh, wish i found out they're mixing all that tiger king stuff because they were down there in that system mm -hmm. uh have you been to anything i've been to some bad some sad zoos I've, i haven't been to any really good ones what's a sad one yeah i went to one in arkansas that was just there's just trash and every a lot of trash yeah and um and the the saddest part was there's like a penguin exhibit but it's arkansas in the summer so it was just these penguins all huddled up standing in front of a fan in this exhibit yeah it was just i was like what are why are they here how do you say it yeah what was the exhibit it was a penguin <laughs> yeah it was different penguin what? that's how i say penguin, penguin. i say penguin penguin 
Penguin. <laughs> Maybe that's, I mean, that look, sounds you may like, be you right. sound like the guy that would run that penguin exhibit. <laughs> hey, what do you got going on here? Penguin. And this penguin, I got a couple penguins. And we got bought put a couple penguins downtown. I, but the other day, the other night, I bought a couple penguins. I've never penguin. You would seem penguin. like a guy that someone that says like that sells penguins <laughs> to zoos that are kind of under the radar. How are you supposed to say it? Penguin. Penguin. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's I say. It's an E. P E N G U I N. Penguin. Saying, you're saying it like an A. You're saying it like an I. But I and E can sell the same. Yours should be P A N G. I mean, you want look, can you look this up? Can you look up the pronoun? I mean, this might be nobody's interested in this, but now I, I feel look, ping- you may be right. <laughs> March, I don't think so. March of the Penguins. I mean, it's, I would like to say if two people in this room, how does Morgan say, Freeman say it in March of the Penguins? Penguin Penguins, books. Penguin. Oh, here we go. Penguin. <laughs> penguin. Hey, you got some. <laughs> what are you selling? Uh, I got a couple of penguins in the back of the. Drug. They're a nice box. That's how <laughs> they're, they're a my, nice box. They're a nice box. I thought right usually now. Wikipedia shows you like the it's pronunciation. Like, yeah, you could do if you usually if you just if you just type in penguin pronunciation on Google, you should be able to there be a just hear someone say penguin. Oh yeah. Well, Whoa, you gotta have to go. This, this is, I want to hear somebody uh, who I want to hear the legit. One yeah. of those said penguin prostitution. Now you, go. Now you did go. I not say that? Let's see. <laughs> it did that. All right. Penguin. There it is. Say it. Well, yeah, well click do the it. click the that button right to the right of it. Let's hear it. No, the the uh, that's to the right. No, I know, right, oh, the, directly right. to the right of. I don't click, click, click it. Penguin. Penguin. Uh, Penguin. 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 <laughs> hey, we're she both here. Just, just like I said it. No. Penguin. 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 <laughs> Slow it down. Slow it. Yeah. There you go. Penguin. 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 There you go. Penguin. I think we're both thinking we're saying they're right. All right. And this is like a Yachty Laurel yeah. type yeah. thing. Yeah, so you're, hear- you're hearing Pang? I'm hearing Penguin. Because I'm hearing Penguin. 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 Can- <laughs> That's hey. How you doing? <laughs> what do you got back there? Got a couple of penguins. One of them's all white. Uh, is it? <laughs> I never seen one of those. All white. It's all white. all white. One's all white. Doesn't have like that tuxedo jacket on. No, it doesn't have it. I did a. Uh, pod- How'd you get that one? He goes, "Where is it at? It's in the front with me. It rode up with me in the front. <laughs> it doesn't get too cold. It doesn't need. It's ninety-five degrees in Arkansas right now. Yeah, got a couple. How much do they? A couple penguins. How much do they go for? Fifty bucks. And he goes. I mean, a guy like that wouldn't know how to set. Like he wouldn't know that he could make money off of it. Is he go? How much you want for about those fifty bucks? Get on that. You crazy? Fifty dollars <laughs> for a penguin. A couple of penguins. One of them's not even the right color. Uh, <laughs> he said, "Goes twenty five. Yeah. Anyway. Penguin. <laughs> penguin. I want some penguins. And then they sell that's a restaurant. You go, I'll take two penguins, two penguin burgers. <laughs> go type in when you were typing that stuff in, yeah. X out of the allow yeah. Here. Go penguin P. Now P. I swear, P R uh Yeah, penguin prostitution. What is that? I don't know what this we're not sure what this is. Oh, it's a thing. Penguin prostitution. Uh, oh, they want rocks more than sex. Uh, do oh do penguins have oh I wish uh, I'd be talking. Oh gosh. this is inappropriate. Yeah, this is uh what what did this you podcast hear? is off the rails I mean, already. Is, I mean, what <laughs> happened? I mean, that's the best uh, thing you could hope. What do you think was going to be the guy in Wilkesbury down the, down the alley? <laughs> I thought it could be something that has nothing to do with penguins. <laughs> I thought, I honestly. I honestly thought it would be like that's what they call some other thing, <laughs> and and then penguins are nothing. It's penguin, but it's straight up penguin. <laughs> we got penguin problems. How much you want to? I love a guy selling that. And a couple of penguins in the back. One's one's all black. It doesn't have any white feet or blue. Is it? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Let me. See. Is you kidding me right now? <laughs> I'm trying to start my own zoo, and I'd I'd love some penguins is the thing that I think set us over the top. (laughs) I mean, I think that's what the guy says that wants to. Because if I get a couple penguins, I think we'll be be just right. I charge 
Eight dollars to get in that place. Get a couple penguins. <laughs> I, I love the, the 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 official pronunciation is how I was saying it. It was you know, just let that in for the record. All right, all right. So that's your worst. Yeah, I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Uh, the Arkansas one. <laughs> it's the place that had in a, that had a penguin exhibit. It's just trash. It's sad. I mean, I don't know. It's sad to see tra- a bunch the trash. The trash wasn't in the cages. Oh yeah, in the yeah. Every, oh, oh, people yeah. like threw it in there. I don't know. I didn't see anybody throw it in there when I was there, but it was like the monkey, the monkey exhibits. They were all they were all like holding trash and like. But how did it get in there? Because you 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 go through this like uh, bridge, so you're kind of over it, yeah. so you can you could easily throw stuff in there, and there's trash everywhere. I watched this gorilla chew this cardboard box for like an hour it was so it was so sad it sounds so like they had i was fun, like is, so is girl having a pretty good time <laughs> well i was just watching it i was like looking around like is anybody gonna is stop you think that's this? like watching this the is... gorilla he doesn't have cable you know i mean like it's like in prison where you're like we don't get all the channels and you're like i'll just watch this guy had to watch pbs for five he's like i mean it's at least tv you know that's what the gorilla would say he's like yeah, dude, it's not ideal, but <laughs> it's got bamboo. Well, I thought I was, I thought I was box. seeing something like this is crazy. Yeah. I've never seen an animal just like eating trash. And I looked around; I didn't see an employee the whole time I was there. I was like, "This is wild." That's anyway. a place that lets the animals go. You think they let like a gorilla go? That's how when you get done with that problem, yeah, of going, you're in over your head. You bought some penguins early, and you thought that's the thing that's going to send you over in Arkansas. No one, I mean, yeah, we liked the penguin exhibit, but it wasn't unreal. And then, I and went then, with, and then uh, you let all the you let all the you let all the zoo animals go. Yeah, they just opened the cages, and Arkansas is going to be running with all kinds of stuff, man. Yeah, and someone's going to be fishing and go. I swear to you, I saw a penguin today. <laughs> And that's what's gonna happen. And some guy is gonna go in Arkansas. You saw, I don't know. That was a different accent, but is that where you saw? You saw what was that? You saw a that penguin. Was, that was like a chimney sweep from Arkansas. London. Yeah. You saw an Arkansas. You tell me in the Arkansas River. You you saw a penguin. What is that accent? I don't know. It's a fun one. In the Arkansas, in the Arkansas Arkans- River. In the Arkansas River. You tell me you're on a boat. In the Arkansas River, and you saw I'm a. This is a guy that that's. I moved around. I lived in a lot of different places. I got a lot of different. <laughs> he's not just from. And you, you saw a penguin out there today. I saw a penguin, boss. It's a guy. Uh, I had a guy last night tell us we pronounce our show wrong. Nate Land. They said it should be Nateland. Nateland. That's how I would say it if it were a town. The Nateland. You know. And I said, no, Nate it's Nate Land. Land. They're like, no, it, I, it's island. It's not island. Island. Or inland. Nate Land. Nate Land wow. podcast. The Nate Land podcast. The Nate Land. How do you say Cleveland? Do you say Cleveland or Cleveland? Cleveland. Yeah. Nate Land. So I think that's maybe what he was Nate thinking Land. of. Yeah. Uh, we went to the Nashville Zoo once, and uh, there's a bird exhibit that you go in, and they land on you, and they tell you, you know, the birds will come land on you. And it was with Brad Hinterleiter. And one of them started pecking on his neck. And it started, no, his ear. Yeah. And it started bleeding. And it bled the rest of the time. Wow. We were, he had to go to like the, and what is it, infirmary? The yeah, yeah, I was going to say infirmary. Yeah, the <laughs> he medical had to go to tent. The vet. <laughs> no. Like all we got is a bird vet. And she goes, let me take a look. You went to see where you get your ears pierced. Yeah, that's what it <laughs> and looked then like. They, they go in and they're like, oh, "I'm not kind of." You know, <laughs> I basically do it. Uh, I, the best zoos I've been to, I've been to a few of these. One zoo that we have in here is the Tish Family Zoological Gardens in Jerusalem, also known as Jerusalem Biblical Zoo. Highlights a collection of animals featured in the Bible. Uh, which the ark was all of them, right? So it'd be every. So yeah, they're like, say, ah, we're basically a normal zoo. Yeah, I was, uh, what is yeah. in the? What was animals yeah. are in the Bible, but not in the, these are the animals that were in the Bible. You're like, oh, is it different? You're like, no, I mean, basically the ark had all the animals, so it's a regular, <laughs> you know. And you're like, okay. Uh, San Diego Zoo, I've been to a few times. Uh, known around the world for pioneering the concept of cageless 
open air exhibits that help recreate the animal's natural habitat besides the train going around uh <laughs> besides that <laughs> i like that it's like maybe these animals don't know they're like i don't know man it feels very normal to me looks like the neighborhood i grew up in <laughs> uh the gw zoo in winwood oklahoma is the zoo that's featured in the netflix documentary tiger king the zoo is renamed tiger king park in may of 2020 it's kind of a yeah it's a wild one the best zoo the wild documentary i know that's a and dive into all that it's been talked about uh the best zoo i've been to was in singapore singapore zoo i was there with uh it was me and my wife and uh derek trucks and susan tedeschi wow. the awesome. tedeschi trucks band and we i remember talking so at that point we hung out with derek i didn't really know i met him we we're it was kind of like a corporate event kind of thing that we were doing and uh, or this private gig, kind of gig. And so then we would go do all this stuff. This was the Paul Allen cruise I was talking about. I've already mentioned oh, yeah. it. Yeah. I always try to avoid it. Like it's, uh, yeah, we we'll are have to dive into that. But the, so Paul Allen cruise, we go to, we're in, we go to Singapore and we get to stay. We went to the hotel in Singapore. We didn't stay there, but cause we were only there. I think we might've been flying out or something. And uh, we're at the zoo and, they the the they had the pool at the very top, and so you it'd be on the top of the rooftop, and you just look all over Singapore. Singapore is super clean, and we went to the zoo. The zoo was unreal. There they have there's we didn't even get to go to all of it because we only had a few hours like that. We had that day and some of the night. So we went to the this one part of the zoo, and I mean they have polar bears. You have I mean it's just unreal. But then they had a night zoo, and that's the coolest zoo I've ever been to. And I wish. There was places like that here. It was just, I mean, it, it, everything's at night. Animals are super active at night. You can either go walk around on your own or you can take a train ride through that part of the zoo. And we walked around on our own. And I mean, dude, you'd go to the tiger exhibit and that tiger is pacing and he's looking. I mean, we go and stood at one point and we look at the cage and the tiger is just pacing back and forth, looking at you through the glass. Yeah. Cause he, this tiger is super like what's going on. And then there's a part we could stand and you could almost put your head up and kind of see it without. And I mean, that tiger just saw us and then growled and just like came at us oh, and you couldn't man. see it. I mean, it was the scariest <laughs> just because of it being dark. Yeah. I mean, you don't know where any, I mean, everything's, I mean, dude, everything's so active at night. Every animal, lions are roaring. Like it was, uh, it was a wild, wild place. I mean, such a cool idea. And I wish they would, uh, I wish there was something like that here. It's, it's, a, it's such a good idea that, you know, they should have that in Nashville. Uh, I don't know. Or in, just in America. Did yeah. you like freak out with the tiger? Yeah. Did you yeah. scream? Yeah, because it was you just kind of jumped down off the thing. I mean, not that we were climbing the fence, but you could stand on. So the fence like went up this high, and you could stand on a thing. And you could kind of just keep your head right above it. Yeah. And then you're just like looking, uh, like Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, you look a- like Wilson. <laughs> like, hey. And then he's just going. The funny thing with Derek is we were talking. So Derek, if you don't know about Derek Trucks, Derek Trucks is he's already looked at as one of the greatest guitarists in ever. And he's he's basically my age, maybe a year younger. He's from uh, Jacksonville. And his, he was in the Allman Brothers at 13. Yeah. And so he, because his family, his uncle, I think Butch, I think is, was in the Allman Brothers. And then he played with Eric Clapton forever. And I mean, so he's like a once in a lifetime. He's a prodigy. He's like yes. a child prodigy. Yeah. And so I'm talking, before I'm like really realizing all this stuff, as we're as we're doing stuff for like realizing uh exactly who is me and him are just getting along because he was from jacksonville and me and nashville so we talked about jags titans yeah. we're in singapore talking about the jags versus titans <laughs> there's no one there's not many people in either of those states talking about that <laughs> and we're over there like yeah we got a good team and like jacksonville's rebuilding right now <laughs> like you know and uh he has season tickets to the Jaguars and just is an enormous fan. But I remember talking to him about stuff. Before I realized it, I was like, yeah. He's like talking about like, yeah, we just – about the grind of everything that they do, touring. And I'm like, 
yeah, I hear it, you know, I'm talking about the grind of comedy and stuff, like almost like we're equals. And then I go look and he's a child prodigy. <laughs> and I, I mean, I felt like a moron. I went and I mean, I, I was like, I don't, I, I don't know what I'm even doing, man. Like, so you're like, it's a different thing, you know? Yeah. I was like, the expectations he has got, I mean, he's 13 in the Almond Brothers. He's, he's a once in a lifetime mm -hmm. type of person. That's one of my favorite videos is him. John Mayer and BB King, and Derek Trucks plays a solo, and BB King says that's the that's the best I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like, I mean, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, uh, he's 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 better than anybody, and uh, truly unbelievable. And yeah, great, great, both of them, great, great people. Uh, all right. Uh, so talking about zoos. Crazy animals at zoos. I'm trying to think if I saw anything crazy animals at zoo. Uh, I mean, did you think there's any point do we see a Bigfoot in a zoo? <laughs> well, that's just jumped right to that, huh? <laughs> well, get into it. There's no way around it. If we find a Bigfoot, I mean, is it a, is it a? I mean, it's a it's an intelligent creature. Do we do we I don't think cage so. it up in a so zoo? The, the penguin, so. as also goes. Him is here. I got a Bigfoot. You want to get it? You you want a Sasquatch? It's Sixty dollars. You want a Sasquatch? How much for a Sasquatch? One hundred and forty dollars. How much do you think they would sell a Sasquatch for? You if think you they found would, an actual Sasquatch? But you think it get the same guy that's selling these penguins? You think he knows to charge? I think I think he would know to charge a lot for. for I bet he does like five thousand dollars. <laughs> and you're you're. I mean, we're rich. Someone's yeah. like, dude, you could be getting a million because it's illegal. He's got a. Sell it for less, but you still could get it more than that. Is it illegal though? I mean, it's, it's not. Illegal. It's not a species that's regulated by the. You know, it's not an endangered species or anything. <laughs> like you, you can, you can rehome a dog. Yeah, he's not going to take it to soft. Can re what? You can like rehome, like sell a dog. Oh, uh, rehome. That's what they, that's what they say now. That's the, like the euphemism they use for selling dogs. Yeah, if you if you look up dogs on like Craigslist, they'll be like. Hundred dollar rehoming fee, that's what they call it. What? Yeah, it's because you don't want to say I'm selling, I'm my, selling dog? my dog for two hundred dollars. Just say I'll give you my dog, and there's a two hundred dollar rehoming fee. That's insane. Yeah. So if we want to rehome, never, rehome Sasquatch, home, that's insane that they're saying that. That's just say you're selling the dog. That's what you're doing. I know, but that's that a, seems so insensitive yeah. and cruel. Yeah, yeah. That this this is this is uh, this is how you get down a path though. Where you don't, you start changing the name of something. Yeah. And then you end up having a cuter name for a horrific act. Exactly. And you yeah. end up being okay with it. Yeah. And so instead of saying, if you're selling a dog, you're maybe if you have some guilt about it, you're like, I'm not just selling this dog I don't care about or whatever. But you say rehoming, you're like, oh, you're like, okay, well, that makes me feel better. Mm -hmm. And this how this tricks down into you're just killing dogs and you're like, <laughs> yeah. we. Yeah. We're, you know, uh, I mean, what would you say? We're, you know, early, yeah, early. Uh, we're not euthanizing it. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're relifing it. Yeah, early exiting our dog, <laughs> and everybody's like, yeah, no, that makes sense. And this dog is getting shot in the head in a garage because everybody, because everybody didn't want to say I selling my dog. This is, I honestly think this is how you f mm -hmm. stuff plows ahead. Slippery slope. So sure. so, and I know everybody's like, it's just a word, it's just a word, but it it trains you into going and. 15 years from now, you got, yeah, we, you know, putting, I mean, yeah, I don't know. We sang him a night night song. <laughs> we said, I, our dog had uh, 10 puppies, and then we sang two of them night night songs. You're like, well, that's, and then the kids like, what is that? They suffocated those puppies. What makes you think they're going to kill them once they get them? What? <laughs> I'm saying that I'm just using an example as an extreme you say example. That was what it. That's rehoming to this is that's insane to not say I'm selling a dog. Yeah, and you're trying to make yourself better, so rehoming sounds better. Mm -hmm. And then rehoming, I mean, then everybody's like, "Oh, I'll rehome my dog." Uh, that's yeah. not even that word doesn't make you feel bad if you just didn't want your dog. You yes. say I'm rehoming it. Yeah, and then you're like, "Oh, so now you're getting if 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 the prob the problem can't be." The word is what's making you what's bad. Mm -hmm. Can't be. Mm -hmm. It's impossible for a word to be bad. And th to be like that bad. The act is what's bad. So you're changing the name of the act, but you're still doing the act. The act is the problem. 
I'm not even saying selling dogs is the problem. That's what I'm saying. Selling but, a dog is not. I don't even think it's no, a bad thing. I'm not, not but there's, 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 so there's no re- reason for exactly. saying rehome. You're, you're choosing something. It's the act. The act is the thing that never gets, that, you know, it's, it's the words change. And it's just like a new, you're painting a house, a different uh, horror house, a different color, yeah. a haunted house. <laughs> it's blue now. You're like, oh. Well, a horror house. That's what Why? you said? Yeah. Okay. I'm just okay, yeah. rambling. Yeah, I'm glad you cleared that up too. Yeah, I said horror, and then haunted house. I'm in haunted house. I so just okay. yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to. No, I'm just making sure you didn't. Yeah, say, well, I'm just trying to put some comedy in this podcast, so I was kind of flying <laughs> off the rails. Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry, young Nick. Nick me apart. I was do a podcast with my wife. I'm just trying to <laughs> shut down some of the comments. Yeah. One of them should be, hey, dude, does Brian and Aaron ever bring the heat? <laughs> no. <laughs> Aaron, you've been a wonderful laugher, though. <laughs> and that's been help. What was it your uh, your uh, your friend, my daughter's, daughter's friend, friend said? Yeah. Uh, Carter. They, uh, she said, why does the guy in the beard never tell jokes? <laughs> that was her comment. <laughs> and uh, you know what? That's the nicest way I've been described visually. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we, yeah. you know, yeah, the bearded guy. Well, that's what we say for fat people now. <laughs> bearded. Uh, we're renaming it to go. God, this bearded guy. Rename it. Renaming. Go. We yeah. rename it. Home. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. fix the problem. He's still large. <laughs> he knows it. <laughs> it's still uncomfortable. The man. Don't get near him. He doesn't feel space around him that easy. <laughs> but the bearded guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be the new way you can. You can do it. Uh, the uh, and let's do an, animal. I don't. It does, this is ten largest animals on Earth are all species of whales. I bet you never would have guessed that. Probably would have. I would have. If you're talking all time, that would have surprised me. Because this just, all time. Well, the blue whale is the largest animal ever. Yeah. On Earth, it's on Earth, larger, yeah, than, all, any larger than any dinosaur. Yeah, a blue whale's tongue weighs more than an elephant. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah. Do you? I mean, it is interesting to see it's bigger than a dinosaur because it just to get that context because you don't ever know what you know. You think like, I mean, in your head, you think a dinosaur is going to walk and just you know. I'd love to see a blue whale next to my home. <laughs> I wish I could whip one. Let's down make that happen. Sack, just so. <laughs> yeah. Just so I could get an, a gauge. Yeah. So when I'm walking around, I know what dinosaurs would knock over. I try to think about that stuff a lot. Yeah. You ever walk around and just think, what if Godzilla walked down this street? Have you seen been How to that, that be? dinosaur exhibit that's on the side of the interstate on I-65 North? I uh, yeah. Yes. So that's where I used to. My parents are from Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, okay. And we would always meet at that exit. Okay. My whole life. I stopped there once. Yeah. And it's pretty fun. Yeah. Is it? I honestly don't know if I've been to the dinosaur thing, though. I they're see you so see big. I mean, you know on what paper that they're... It's just a bunch of life-size statues of different dinosaurs, and you walk through the woods, and they're out there. And just, you know, you get you get an appreciation for how huge these things were. And their actual size of it. Yeah. yeah. So the ones next to the interstate are the real sizes of it. You mm-hmm. see it. But most of them are tucked away in the woods. You can't yeah. see them. I mean, it's not like a dinosaur it went walking down an interstate would just smash the bridge above it, you know, like the bypass. No, the they'd interstate. smash the cars if they stepped on it. Yeah, they would smash the cars, it, but yeah. I'm saying in your head, vision, you could think like, dude, are they going to, they, would they just, like how big can they possibly, you know, be? But you, you can see them being like, I don't know. Yeah. But it is a good thing to go see that. Go see that, guys. You're driving down 65 South or North. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right in between, or before you get to Elizabethtown. Uh, we used to be a dry county. I don't think it is now. I went in there once. We are delivering in Elizabethtown, and I go to this bar, Oh Charlie's, and there's a bar. Just go sit up at the bar, and uh, I think we tried to ask for a beer, and they said it's a dry county. And it was a full bar, taps. They had liquor bottles, and you're like, well, what's all this? It's like it's non, it's all non-alcoholic. It's just nothing. Wow. Just and like O'Doul's on tap yeah, and stuff like, like that? Yeah, so it was like a real bar. And that's how you pronounce it, Elizabethtown? Yeah. I never knew it. I never it, knew it was that or Elizabethan. I got stranded there you for know two days. Elizabethtown? They all call it E Town. E Town is E Town yeah. is how they all call it, just to avoid it's that. It's spelled Elizabeth. 
Right. But it, their town's called Elizabeth, yeah, right? It's spelled like Elizabeth Town, but yeah, I, I thought it might be something like that. What? Elizabethan. There's a, I know the, the one in Tennessee, that's how you pronounce it. How do you pronounce it? Elizabethan. Elizabethan? Yeah. Well, they're just being a nightmare. <laughs> that town is a wreck. <laughs> that's, that's infuriating. There's no way. Elizabethan? You're like, get out of here, man. <laughs> no one's saying it like that. That's, I mean, that is. God, that's someone saying to you, like, come on, come on. Yeah, work with me, dear. Yeah, I mean, who are we kidding? It's spelled like Elizabethtown? Yeah, I think so. That's insane. That's There's no reason for that. I think so. Elizabethton. Elizabethton. You're, you know, ridiculous. The You know, that's the, how we wrote the Seinfeld thing. That is the funniest marine biologist yeah. Seinfeld episode. When he says, uh, you know, the blue whale, you know, it's the largest mammal on earth. But as George says, they don't have to be. <laughs> He's looking at trying to make the whales lose weight. <laughs> the African elephant is the largest land animal. The cheetah is the fastest land animal at, oh, largest land animal. Then the cheetah is the fastest land animal at 70 miles per hour. Uh, this podcast seems like it's for my daughter. <laughs> this is like stuff she was in. I <laughs> got <laughs> just get into facts of just. Yeah, I'm interested. And, uh, uh, Eliz- uh, Elizabeth and spelled differently. Okay, and there we go. Where? Yeah, we should. Yeah, there's a, there's your source. There's a That's W. Perfect. There's Elizabeth- a W missing. That's it. Yeah, okay. a W. Instead of town, it's for the listeners. It's spelled E L I Z A. Well, the W is everything. T O N. So, but you would call that Elizabeth Ton. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Elizabeth. But it's spelled the same. How much Elizabeth weighed a ton. Uh, no, Elizabeth Ton. No, I would say that. There's not. There's not a W. You made you read it wrong. You would say Elizabethan. No, I would say uh, Elizabethan. Elizabeth. Well, that, that'd be Elizabethan. wrong. That's not how you. Yeah. Whatever. I would say, say it more closer to what you said. Okay. I'm not doing anything wrong. I said Elizabethtown and spelled it. You said it spelled like Elizabeth Town. Right. And you're like, what's the big deal, dude? They forgot the W. Well, that's the most gigantic part of the spelling is not having the W. But Elizabeth is spelled the same, but it's pronounced differently. I know because it's because it's T O N at the end. I wouldn't pronounce T O N and T O W N the same. But you would spell you pronounce Elizabeth differently, even though it's spelled the same. Elizabeth Town, Elizabeth Tun, right? No. How do you say it? Elizabethton. 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 Yeah. I but I can I can get that at least because that W's not there. If it was right. Town, you're less Elizabethton. Angry. You're less angry about it now. That's already different. Okay. That's already a it's you were, one it's one word. You're E-L-I. pretty riled up. He's or, clearly less angry now. <laughs> I know, but you're I know because you're now act, it's you. You're, act, you're acting like well, the, so they forgot the W. Like you act like that's not a big deal. Like it's like same thing, dude. They forgot the W. Uh, not a big deal. Falcon, it's faking. Well, they forgot the hell, dude. Why are you being weird about you pronounce it the same way? We so. covered that <laughs> fake. You didn't know how to pronounce that, huh? You said, uh, is it spelled? I mean, I could say you You thought Elizabethtown. You're like, oh, is it pronounced Elizabethton? Yeah. That's wrong. I asked, that's why I asked the question. Yeah. And I, if you I, thought it was crazy, then Aaron pointed out that it's called E Town because people don't know. Because it's, yeah. it's spelled Elizabethtown. Right. Which is the, the gigantic thing in that. It's T O W N. A W is a big deal. Uh, so I, I apologize for getting mad at their town. They, I think they pronounce it the way they want to pronounce it. How do, how do they pronounce it? Elizabeth, uh, uh, Elizabethan, <laughs> Elizabethan. No. What is it? Yeah. Yeah. You got it. What is it? Elizabethan? Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I, I can, I get it. All right. The Peregrine Falcon is the fastest driver. <laughs> no one cares at this point. I'm just trying to get through this. The Peregrine Falcon is the fastest bird to speeds of. That's pretty crazy, miles right? Two hundred forty. Oh wow, so nuts. That but is man, wild. So mm. crazy. How fast do you get through Elizabethton? Uh, how long would it take him to drive through? Uh, what we use some weird animal facts. A squirrel can survive a fall at its. Terminal velocity. In other words, you could throw a squirrel out of an airplane, it will land perfectly fine on the ground. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's, I don't know how much that's. What do you mean? That's from Aaron. There's zero chance that's true. It's, 
you know, everything has a terminal velocity. A squirrel is designed such that it it it's terminal it can survive a fall at its terminal velocity. I not so, even positive with terminal velocity. I didn't even know what that but meant. I don't think so when something's falling, yeah. It's uh, everything eventually is going to reach a certain speed and not get any faster because the speed at which it's fa- and the drag moving up are going to you're you know, competing forces. A squirrel's terminal velocity, which I don't know off the top of my head, but it's it's he can survive a fall from with at that speed. So theoretically, I don't know if it's been check, done. Uh, how, yeah, how did they figure check that out? Aaron's sources. Look something up. I want to see Aaron's sources. Theoretically, you could be uh, on an airplane and throw a squirrel out the window, and it'll land what? perfectly fine on its feet. Theoretically, I mean, I don't know if it'll three, land on its hey, feet, but it'll three, be. Theoretically is uh, a little different than in other words. <laughs> I mean, that's way different. Theoretically. Hey. Just saying, theoretically. No, oh, they slow could, it down. What do you mean? It says squirrels, the only mammal that can slow No, see, 14 meters per second, that's the terminal velocity of a squirrel. So no matter what height you drop a squirrel at, that's the speed it's going to get. No, it says- That's the max speed. But below it says they can slow down their terminal velocity, survive the fall. They can can do it slowly enough to survive. Like they could almost spread themselves out. Uh, Can- how long? How long does it take for a squirrel to? Uh, no, not stuff to death. <laughs> squirrels, do squirrels die, die from falling. Do squirrels die from falling. Look at that. Squirrels can survive impacts at their terminal velocity, which means no matter what height you drop a squirrel from, it'll probably survive. Wow. Now they put probably there. Do uh, because, do from an airplane? Do uh, well? It just says ca- no matter what height. I want to see the word airplane. Oh, you put, type that in. Put can a squirrel. That was my editorialization. I'll admit in it. other words, yeah. Theoretically, or in other words, those are two big different. This is what we were talking about. Uh, Basically, previous episodes just about you know. I would love for somebody to test this. Well, if the squirrel can survive, it's right. I mean, if you really believe this as a scientist, let's put it. Let's let's, let's uh, toss it out. How the window. fall high of a fall can a squirrel survive? A hundred feet. Squirrel's tail can also serve as a parachute to ease falls. They can fall up to a hundred feet, but how how is a hundred feet? I mean, how tall is a building? They're saying tall building. Yeah, hundred feet's not really hundred feet's that's not a, that tall. You know, a nine or ten story building. Yeah, oh, that's a pretty tall right. building. Yeah. What is it? Ten well, feet. It's yeah. much. Ten that's stories. much shorter than ten a plane. Stories. Than a plane flies. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could now. What plane are you flying? Because well, I'm not saying American Airlines. I'm <laughs> yeah, saying, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying your buddy's got a plane. He takes it up. I'm saying Charles Lindbergh. I'm talking a little. I'm talking about the Wright brothers' plane. Is that not an impressive fact, though? I yeah. mean, come on, dude. Yeah, I didn't even give, know what terminal velocity. Give was. it up for squirrels. Give it. A, I mean, yeah, it's it's the the airplane. You know, you went for it. <laughs> And, it's 100 feet, but yeah. airplane sounds better. Uh, I mean, t- t- a tall building would have been an airplane. You're, but what I, think I said everybody's was not mind a, goes to, <laughs> yeah. I'm flying on Delta across the Grand Canyon. Yeah, what I said was not is, inaccurate, though. You could, it doesn't matter. The, that's the whole point, is it doesn't matter. It's the not height. accurate, but if you sit in front of a squirrel, a squirrel would go, well, that's <laughs> all right. He's being a little kind of crazy. Don't throw me out of a plane, please. That's what the squirrel, <laughs> the squirrel would come in and go, all right, no, I, Aaron, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Aaron's kind of right. We're pretty awesome, but like, don't let's not get crazy. Aaron gets a little excited and wants to throw me out of an airplane. <laughs> if you had a squirrel buddy uh, that you're trying to get thrown, you're like, just do it, man. Like your roommates with a squirrel, and you're like, why don't you ever just do it? You know, is it like swimming where you just throw the kid in the pool to teach him? <laughs> squirrel buddy just I guess, shoves yeah, him out. I don't. Well, see, nobody has the guts to do this. You go, you show up with uh, Bermuda tickets to your with your squirrel. <laughs> Hey, buddy, you got a little trip we're taking. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Some squid have donut-shaped brains, and their throats pass through it. So if they eat something too big, they can get brain damage. Wow. That's interesting. That's another Aaron Weber one. <laughs> is that yours? Yeah. All these, these are. are. These are mine. This uh, is, I, I'm the source here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would love it if you just... These are just completely made up. And Aaron... <laughs> uh, that's yeah. All right, they have their throats <laughs> pass through it, so they eat something too big, they get brain damage. I mean, can you? Uh, how stupid do you have to be? That's what they say. <laughs> He's like, "What do you? You thought you could eat the blue whale, and you're stupid. You can't wrap your brain around how much food that is." 
And literally, that's a real saying. He can't, the squid cannot That's where the saying his, comes from. That's where the saying comes from. That's right. Can you not wrap your head around how big a horse is? <laughs> you can't wrap your brain around it? You're like, no, you physically can't because it's bigger than your throat. Octopus can escape from a jar by Yeah, we got video of this. I don't believe it. Oh, man. <laughs> so they, yeah. They put, well, what's your source? They put this, yeah, the source is, yeah, a video of it. It unscrews the lid with its tentacles. And escapes a jar. I don't like this. I don't like what it means. You know, the crazy thing is, I've seen this video. He doesn't even escape, get out when he takes it off. He just hangs out there. I still don't think he can get out. Well, he knows what he's doing. That's, I mean, that's the creepy part of this. What moves and then, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you, you got to get. You know, he's struggling. Getting him in the. Yeah, that was like a 40 minute video. <laughs> I mean, oh, 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 there it goes. Yeah, gets look. Out. Yeah, he made it out. Well, he gets out. No, he doesn't. He just, yeah, you're so like, unimpressed with this. No, I'm, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's, Aaron, I mean, these look, facts are great. terrible. What are it's you? great. No, they can get it. Yeah. I, I mean, I would, they have suction cups. I would think that they could do it. But the idea is that they're so, they're smart enough to understand how a lid of a jar works. I think you just escape. start trying stuff out. You ever not touch something that you maybe don't know how it works? And you're like, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, but we're human. Be- we're human beings. <laughs> I tell you, you put most animals in a jar, and they're not going to be able to get out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? I mean that's true. I mean yes. that's I never. I'm thinking of it like that. I like I like the idea of that. Uh-huh. That if you if you have most animals, you would. You could be like, yeah. Well, you think you could get in a jar and get out? And yeah. Adam will be like, no, I don't. Put a dog in a jar. It's never getting Yeah. Out. And he goes, but I'm too big for a jar. And then the, and he goes, and the, and the octopus is blank. That's his smart point. He goes, oh, you make a strong point, octopus. Uh, I'm too big for a jar. <laughs> and then the octopus. Intercept. Make a bigger jar, dude. Yeah. He goes, well, we can make jars as big as possible. Bigger pants. There you go. <laughs> That's a debate between animals. <laughs> Say a dog and an octopus are both res- running for office. And what's the argument? Uh, I don't know. Just taking shots. <laughs> your 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 person can't. What do they say? Your <laughs> can't get out of a jar. Your guy that you want to elect can't get himself out of a jar. <laughs> and the dog goes, "Well, what were you doing in the jar anyway?" <laughs> and then everyone's like, "Whoa." <laughs> <laughs> That's the comeback. He goes. Uh, what are the smartest animals in the world? Uh, oh, octopus number nine, just a little heads yeah, up. Yeah, I know. Kind of fell down, so he, let's go through. All right, so basically, octopus is number nine. Top eight animals that can get out of jars, apparently, because <laughs> they that's not even on their – they're not even worried about it. Uh, does anybody want to take a guess? I'll let them, at the listeners at home, if you're watching, if you want to take a – what do you think the smartest animal – I wouldn't have got this. In I, the world. I would have thought number two was number one. And let me just say, I looked up, every list I saw was a little bit different. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Depends but most of them asked. most of them had number one as number one. Okay. I will say we eat four out of the top ten smartest animals well, you in do. the world. Yeah. Uh, let me go through them. Pigeon, squirrel, crow, <laughs> and cool. elephant, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got two of those. Uh, let me uh, think. You, what do you eat? You eat octopus. Octopus. Should you just say what the list is? Real quick? Just say what's number one. It's the number one smartest animal in the world. Chimpanzee. Yeah. Two dolphin, orangutan, elephant, crow, pig, squirrel, pigeon, octopus, rat. Yeah. Pig, squirrel, pigeon, and octopus. People eat all four of those. Squirrel, pigeon. No, but what we would have eaten is pig, a pig, and octopus. Right. For me, but people pig. eat squirrel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and people Same eat pigeons that sell penguins out of the <laughs> truck of their car. Pigeons says, "Hey guys, what you got there? What kind of beef stick you got? Isn't there? that what squab is? You can get squab at like a fancy restaurant, and I think it's baby pigeon. I've never heard that. I yeah. never heard that. How is uh how's gr- oh no. how's gorilla not on this? It's better not knowing that." <laughs> The gorillas? Don't you think gorillas? Uh, I would have thought a bunch of a bunch of types of, apes, bunch of monkeys would be on. What here, if the gorilla doesn't want to be on it? 
I would think if you're the smartest animal in the world, you you're, you're you're so smart that you go, I don't need to be listed. You know, I don't want to be in your dumb list. You don't want to be. They dumb it down for their own safety. Like they, I'll eat this uh, cardboard box and I won't get yeah. top ten. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Did you go look at the penguins? Nah, nah, nah. And you're like, I didn't know there was penguins here. And then, and then you go, and the penguins are in the trees because they don't know what penguins do. <laughs> they go, it's a bird. I put it up in the tree. Can't come down. Stupid bird can't fly. Now <laughs> this penguin can't can't get off the ground. Scared of heights. Can you believe it? <laughs> Uh, that's what they do. <laughs> uh, chimpanzee. Do they have better short-term memory than humans? You said this was a fun video. Yeah, this is a. Uh, they have less to how remember. How long are these videos? Sure. We're not. We don't it's play a the whole thing. Right? No, just play video. what you want. But look, they're look wow. how quickly they put that's it up there. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Then he gets a peanut. I mean, they put it up there for a so split second. So it's a second. chimp with a touch screen, and they're putting up all these little squares, and the chimp is one through nine, and the they chimp, put, wow. They put it up for a second, and yes. then they go and then away. He touches and, the squares. Yes, I so mean it would be like if say it's a TV screen with a bunch of squares. Yep, and then yeah, and I almost remembers. don't believe this is real. The, the 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 thing that's the craziest is how much a couple times he doesn't even really look like he's watching. Where's the humans trying to do it? You know, so she didn't get it. Yeah, I mean the fact well, that I'd like to I'd like to see her face. What if you just see her, you go, well, of course she can't get it. <laughs> you just like, that looked like one of our biggest doofuses she put up. You put her up against that champion. Yeah. See? One of the dumbest people versus one of the smartest chimpanzees. <laughs> I mean, dude, how funny that they go, and this human can't get it. And they show him, he's like, <laughs> he's just sitting there. <laughs> I don't know. I can figure it out. And you're like, are you kidding me? That's what we had to go on against it. <laughs> and he'd be furious. Yeah. You're like, put someone else up there that's better, man. Let me feel it. I want to feel that they have a chance. I don't. It's crazy that they don't really watch. I would also believe... Yeah, he's getting fed a peanut he, every time just, he gets it right. Oh, yeah. is he really? Yeah. Oh. So, look, he'll reach for the peanut. Oh, that's the end of it. But. Well, there you go. Did the human have the same incentive? <laughs> no, that's the difference. No. There just you go. being... Yeah, your incentive is... If you can't, then you're dumber. Then we're going to hire this chimpanzee and you are fired. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, you ever see Robin Williams make that gorilla laugh? Have you ever seen that? I've seen a picture of him with a gorilla. Coco the gorilla? The did sign language? Yeah, the did sign language. And Robin Williams like hung out with him and was like killing. Co Coco the, the monkey? He was like doing oh, comedy yeah. to, the, to the gorilla. But how would he Coco. get it? Coco. Go, go. He would, he, I mean, it was, it was like the most primal form of comedy ever. He was like tickling it and like doing funny facial expressions and he was just killing. The gorilla was just having a blast. Ooh. I would say as a stand up, that wouldn't make you feel good. <laughs> Wait, to what? To, what do I you mean, mean? I think honestly, if you get out and you're like, that gorilla like got me too much. <laughs> That that couldn't be. He wasn't doing his act. Oh, no, he's he was doing his full <laughs> act. No. <laughs> How funny would that be that you're like, I don't. I remember doing a show. Uh, I, I, I never remember. If I've told these stories, but doing that show at a uh, in New Jersey at a firehouse. I've told this fire, and so we you do these fire gigs uh, or these firehouse, you know, like, and they'd be like raising money for like a fire company and you know for whatever a fire truck for a fire truck place <laughs> you know a place where they keep fire trucks <laughs> i mean a fire i don't know if i'd beat a champion chimpanzee he'd already got through this story <laughs> well, the gorilla's not even the top 10 yeah i mean chimpanzee would have already been done with the story and he's like and i wasn't even there can you believe uh so uh my my material is below the grill <laughs> that's so we do this show and where it's set up and I had to, I used to do this joke about Shakespeare. I forget the joke, but it was just whatever it was. It wasn't anything <laughs> profound. It was like a dumb <laughs> Shakespeare joke. And I remember that I get done. I mean, we had to do it in the, where they kept the actual, usually you would do it in like one of the smaller rooms because it was in like a fire department and you do it in a smaller room inside, but they didn't, we couldn't for some reason. And so we had to do it in the garage. Well, the garage where they keep the trucks is enormous and sound just disappears. And so they're setting up all this stuff and I'm doing it to, for this guy to look at me and see me so I can hopefully get some more of these gigs. 
because you know they pay like 200 bucks like yeah. and you just drive to jersey and so i'm doing them and i go up i do the shakespeare joke i mean i just bomb like it's terrible and then the guy that booked it comes over after the shakespeare he goes that shakespeare joke works in the city and i was <laughs> like yeah and he was like Phew. <laughs> All right, and he walked away. Never got booked. But then my other buddy that did it with me, that brought me, he would play the trumpet, and so he does plays the trumpet, and plays funny songs on the trumpet, and of course, and murders, murders, because that's what you needed to do in that situation. And we're driving back, and I was like, "Man, you killed, dude." I was like, "I don't think that I'll ever get booked there." I was like, "They they loved you. You did really good." And he's like. I don't think you, sh you should be doing good in that room. Like it was the most <laughs> honest, real moment to see someone put together that like, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a good place to be good at, you know, to be in a, like a carnival bar. You don't want to, you don't be, I'm really good when it's outdoor and it's chaos. Yeah. 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 That's where I shine. Like that, that's not the place you want to be. So you'd rather bomb with a gorilla? You'd rather, you know. No, I mean, it's yeah, just you want to have a good funny set, to, you know. It's funny to think. I, I think it would, you know, if I did bomb, I would go, well, of course. Yeah. All oh, right. I'm doing some highbrow stuff over here. <laughs> I'm not tickling the gorilla. Mm, my opening act. I didn't know he was going to do crowd work like that. Uh, <laughs> that's a. Uh, hey man, good set. Would have loved to know you were gonna tickle the gorilla. I mean, you are stepped. you kidding me? I got thirty minutes on bananas. You kind of, kind of stepped uh, on my tickling. Yeah. Bit How about humans? We open bananas wrong, right? Uh, what are the most venomous animals on Earth? I wouldn't have guessed the number one animal. No. Uh, cnet.com cnet.com is also where that sounds like we're doing an ad and we're not but it's also where i go to check phone reviews <laughs> like it's funny that they do everything uh-huh really cnet does everything they're ranking animals too phone reviews well if you ever look up a phone or they have like great consumer reports consumer yeah. Oh, yeah. it's great reviews yeah uh -huh. and that's funny too that they're like you're like but you don't do <laughs> snakes or nothing they go <laughs> what do <laughs> are you serious right now that's that's actually what got us started. <laughs> that's actually yeah. our passion. That's actually <laughs> our favorite yeah. thing. Phone reviews pays the bills, but oh, we are yeah. all about animal reviews. How high can you drop a phone review? <laughs> also, higher than a squirrel can fall? <laughs> Find out on this next video where we drop a squirrel and the iPhone 11 off a 100-foot building. <laughs> How tall is a 100-foot building? None of us really knew either. <laughs> it's where an airplane flies. Box, or box jellyfish is the number one most venomous animal on Earth. You don't think of a jellyfish as being venomous. Like, they have venom. I thought they just sting you. Where are they? Are they uh, close? That, are they, like, way out there? Yeah, God, let me get far away. Let me uh, yeah. look up the... Where I I've seen, you know you always see my dad got bit by uh what is the morora or uh such an m that's like a jellyfish man of war man of war really man of war yep those are the scariest looking right. things uh yeah my dad got bit by a man of, or got stung by man of war oh, I gotta go like when he was when he was uh I want to say he was in his twenties or something where was he uh you know what. Tennessee, very no, I don't know. I was saying somewhere. You know what? The mall is very random. Uh, a little surprising, but that's what made him touch it because he thought, "What well, can't be?" You know, when the this man of war can't be shopped in the same place I'm shopping. When the flood uh, happened here in in Nashville in 2010, Aubrey Mills got flooded, Aubrey Mills Mall, and there was a rumor that piranha got loose from the aquarium and were swimming around in the mall. So there's still. Maybe they still are. It's when you go to that mall and you sit in that movie theater seat and you feel someone behind you going, <laughs> shh, and you look back. Uh, number two. Inland well, there's the box jellyfish, by the way. Yeah, I don't like Does that. it say where they're at? That's what I wanted. Uh, what do you mean where they're at? Are they in the middle of the ocean? Are they the ones that come close to the shore? Oh. Uh, uh, it is probably the most deadly. It is... 
it is large in size, yet almost transparent in the water. Yeah, that's what's scary. Tentacles can sting you with its millions of Nemo something injecting a hefty (laughs) amount of venom while holding its victim in place. It holds you. The the jellyfish has enough venom to kill 60 adults. Um, And you think that's it? You think it's out then? Or is there saying one sting would kill 60 people? No, I think that means total. Is it? Yeah. So it's like. I think it has a finite amount of toxins. 60 in one sitting. Yeah. You know, give it a night to refresh. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, dude, last night was tough. Yeah, to- <laughs> they told they're doing like virtual learning, you know, at school. And they said, I don't know, I think the Zoom and all the kids are on Zoom and stuff. So the some of the kids got kicked off of Zoom. And so I think one of the teachers said, well, you know, and I think the internet just gets tired. And I was like, <laughs> I don't think that's, <laughs> I mean, you're, it was just, and I, she was saying it. I think she was, you know, I mean, you're saying it to kids to yeah, do it. Right. But there's some logic that she's, you I think guess, she believes it. Maybe. Almost well, like, well, we've know. been on the internet all day. It's probably a lot for the internet. It's like, <laughs> and it got a little tired. I mean, but maybe she's talking to She's talking girls. to kids, but also I think beneath that, she doesn't understand how the internet works yeah. at all. Which who does? Who does anymore? Uh, blue ringed octopus. 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 Man, there's been a lot of words. Confusing. Elizabethan. <laughs> Elizabethan. Look at that. It can cause Penguin. respiratory failure within 10 minutes and death it, within 30. That's what's... It's the size of a golf ball. I don't like that, dude. I don't like anything in the ocean. Does it say that? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, Only no. the size of a golf size ball. size of a golf ball, dude. That's so small. Yeah. Well, that's like... But that thing's got to be at the bottom, you know? That's got to be... <laughs> You ain't, you ain't going to see that snorkeling and you go to Mexico. So one bite can kill 26 men. I know, but I don't, and there's no antidote because we don't need one because it's not in the Gulf of Mexico where you're. Uh, it's in the Pacific and the What's Indian that Ocean. Seinfeld? It made me think of, you know. Oh, there's a lot of, when they're deciding on where to go, they end up, they're going to go to France and then they say somewhere. He goes, it's, there's a lot of hills there. George says there's a lot of hills. In the I'm finale? Like, yeah. Where they're trying to find yeah. where to fly? And Elaine, uh, and Elaine goes, I'm like, you're going to walk up these hills. <laughs> and he goes, if you, you get to the bottom, we'll drive down and pick you up. Like, and they're just <laughs> making fun of him. <laughs> That's what I felt like. You're scared of that octopus. It's like, it's not like you're going you're gonna to go swim in the Gulf of Mexico, dude. You're not, <laughs> you're never going to go see a real ocean. And you're all right. Uh, Jellyfish all up there, cone snail. That's uh, everywhere. All oceans. Is it really? Yeah. The box jellyfish is in Australia. Australia. Australians wild. Yeah. Most of these are in Australia. That's that's crazy. It's uh snail may move slowly, but that's probably whether their venom is extra potent. I mean it's, oh, they always talk like that's what they got, but it's like you know, they went and bought stuff. There's like, you're gonna move slow. He's like, Well, can I have extra venom then? And he goes, <laughs> Okay. And he's like, fine. And he leaves. That's how I think animals get the stuff that they get. Yeah, I'm not that fast. Well, I should deserve more than other snails that can get out of the way. <laughs> that guy's flying. It's going like slower than, you know, this guy's humming all over the place. Yeah, that peregrine falcon yeah, is going yeah. 240 miles They can't even wrap their head around. Dude. They, I mean, a, a snail can't even, mm-hmm. doesn't even understand the logic. Of how fast 240 miles per hour. <laughs> he, he can't even do it. Uh, his first, oh, the inland taipan snake is Australia. Uh, that was the number two. I mean, that's crazy for that thing to be two. Then the other type of snake, Oops. sea snake. I knew a sea snake was boom slang snake. I don't know. Uh, and then there are ours, uh, number 21 on the list is Black Widow. That's our first one. Yeah. And then, uh, Diamondback rattlesnake is twenty three. Brown recluse is twenty five. And is is let me see the boom slang snake. I loved snakes. We had a snake growing up. Yeah, I had a snake. uh, And they we had a a red tail boa. And my dad, I got it for Christmas when I was twelve. And they uh, and my dad went and bought it. He said the guys he goes in the guy's house and there was just snakes out everywhere like a dude that 
sell snakes. I mean, uh, hanging on the door frames crazy. and just everywhere. And he just had snakes. And my dad had to bring it home and they had to put it in, he had to put it in his shirt and keep it up against his body because it was cold. Wow. Oh, I and, thought you were meant to hide it from you so you didn't see it. No, no, just because when they drove back. And then they had a thing, they had a aquarium set up where I was hoping, I was like, I think I'm getting a snake. But then they put a, my brother got a hamster. <laughs> and so at first they put a hamster in there because to make me think that that's what it was. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up and it was a snake. And I mean, we used to, it's funny, I don't really touch, I don't grab snake. If I see one now, I won't catch it. Back then I was a little more willy nilly. And we would, uh, my dad would put it in the front yard and someone would walk by. He's like, oh man, look at that snake. That's, I mean, it's like a three foot <laughs> red tail boa. Do you remember how he found the guy? No, because back then I don't even know. Yeah. How, I guess you just knew somebody. Yeah, you. Yeah, you would have known someone. I guess that had it. Yeah, I don't remember how. Someone in the clown community. Or, uh, Santa. Or, so and they're like, "How are you going to bring it home? Did you bring something to put it? No, well, you're going to have yeah. to put it underneath your shirt." Yeah, yeah. I mean, the That's guy told him like you got to tuck in. Yeah. You got to tuck in. Then. You got to tuck in right. there. That's another tuck in sitch <laughs> situation that you, you get into. You ever own a snake? Yeah, I think I've told you this. I, my brother had a ball python. Yeah. And I had a hamster named Skunky. And one day I came home from school and my mom was like, Skunky died. And I found out like 10 years later that my mom fed Skunky to my brother's snake. Yeah. Because she was like, it's about, it's nearing the end of its life. Yeah. Save me a trip to the Two pet for store. One. Yeah. Yeah. The snake, about a week later, the snake got out of its cage and the family dog ate the snake. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. And your dog. Or the family dog. Yeah. yeah. So I know, but so <laughs> your family's dog. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So we would just say the dog. Well, uh, yeah. I, was, <laughs> I right. wasn't. I mean, right. I, yeah. But I'll say it was you my hamster and my brother's snake. Snake. And everyone's dog. But everybody owned the dog. That's true. Well, yeah. And you lived under a house with all of your family. Y'all didn't live separately? I mean, the way that was just worded was <laughs> wild, dude. Like, it was, I mean, and then the family, like, mean, I'm I wanna... not, you know, Holly that's running in and out, I don't go, oh, here's our family dog that's running. You're like, just so everybody's clear, it's the family, my immediate family dog. Would you call it my dog, our dog? Our dog. The family's our, dog? I would say our dog. I mean, I'm just a little more formal than you. I like to let people you know. You go that it's like, that's, and then just so you know, we had two dogs, but the family dog, we had another dog that just ran around. None of us knew really knew. It was my uncle's dog, but he was there. But the family, <laughs> the family that lived in that home. Wait, okay, I'll and defend so, But this. then I'm going like, what's your family that lives in the home? And you're like, my, okay, my brother, you with me? Mother? <laughs> Father. Look, a snake and a hamster, they can live in a room. They're in a yes. cage in a room. Yeah. So if I had a hamster in my bedroom, mm. it would feel dumb to to think of it as the family's pet. I would, yeah. A dog is all over the place. Yeah. So it's like, are the family dog, right? Yeah. <laughs> but a hamster and a, and a snake are so unique that you could just say it's, I had a snake. I just told you I had a snake. That's right. And I said, my brother but had a hamster. But it wasn't my snake. Same was, situation. That's what I'm saying. I had a hamster. My brother had a snake. Yeah. That's, we're on the same page. We're on the same page. Exactly. The difference is. <laughs> okay. That I don't announce. I don't just go, the family dog. Well, did all your pets eat each other? That's the <laughs> yeah. difference. Well, y'all were going through some stuff. Maybe that's right. It was a tough yeah. time in our family. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. That, it was a tough week. The dog ate it all or just killed it? Ate it. And Ugh. kind of left. I mean, I, we guess it got Some outside, it. and it. Yeah, we know it because the dog threw it up everywhere. Yeah, yeah so we it saw that. It, yeah, it was. We could saw the snake skin and the throw up. Yeah. What, what kind of dog do you have? A tiger? A beagle? Oh, oh man, yeah. we had a hunting dog. We had a beagle, uh, and it snapped at my sister, mm -hmm. and so it's it was not the family dog for long. Did you? Uh, it snap. Beagles could be a little snappy. That's right. Did you dehome it? We dehomed it. De we dehomed. We shot it in the back of the head. Uh, no, we dehomed it. We also. I had an alligator. What? Uh, Cayman alligator. Is that crocodile? No, Cayman alligator. We, me and John Paul, my buddy John Paul, uh, and he, we, we like when we were, you know, in between college was done. 
maybe I started working the, right before I started comedy, and we'd go to this place in Antioch, like Little Critters maybe or something like that. And it was, and you could go in there. I remember going in there once, and there he had, he would sell Cayman alligators in there. Wow. Make sure it's Cayman alligators. I'm pretty sure it is. I think that might be their own separate species, right? Uh, yeah, it's Cayman. Like and the then, islands, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They're just. And is it a Cayman also a Cayman, Cayman or Cayman? Yeah, is used to is related to alligators. Uh, all right. Is it a crocodile? No, I think it's just yeah, in the it's family. Cayman. So we got a Cayman, and they we so we had it and we put it in our we had it in our apartment and. In an aquarium, and I mean, you'd hold and stuff. It was, I mean, it just, you know. You take it out and hold it? Yeah. You just can never, you know, how much you think you will become your buddy. They just don't. Yeah. Yeah. That's the that's the hard they part. Can't, they can't bond with you like a, like a mammal can. Yeah. You know? How did it end? I think we, I think they sold it. I think I might have moved out before, and mm-hmm. then I think they, I think he just sold it to someone else. Uh, rehomed it. No, it's uh, you just it's moved it's out. Sewers. This is, this is your with problem. Percy now. Priest Lake. Uh, it should be about ten feet tall now. Uh, uh, all right, we got to we will be wrapping this up. Uh, we're trailing off at this point. Uh, one of the uh, b- b- black bears migrating to Middle Tennessee. That is, true. they're coming here. They haven't been one here in a hundred years. And last year, a black bear was spotted in Jolton. Uh, well, then one even closer. Stuff. Today's weather is uh, Nashville, Tennessee is 85 degrees. A black bear was <laughs> spotted in Jolton County, northwest of Davidson County. Uh, it hasn't been here for 100 years. Oh. I well, mean, that was the, the – Jolton was the first sighting, and then another one was Hunter's Lane off Dickerson Pike. I almost went to Hunter's Lane. Ten miles north of Nashville. That's why we didn't go. Bears were going there. <laughs> My parents were like, we can't do that. Uh, one last, the, the last, oh, I don't want to do these last two. Uh, if different animals had a one-on-one, uh, well, let me do this. Other. Should animals be brought back from extinction? Mm-mm. That's pretty interesting. Scientists are close to bringing back animals from extinction. The wooly mammoth and a passenger pigeon. Oh, gee. Are two of the <laughs> animals being discussed? Uh, what animals would you like to see brought back from extinction? I feel not to be insulting that you would be the one that goes. What about a passenger pigeon? Like I, is that insulting to Probably. say <laughs> that kind of. if he goes, I could see we're scientists. I like, dude, woolly mammoth. You're like, what about a passenger pigeon? I'm like, <laughs> and now I have to go like, oh god. Uh, and then it's like, does it look any different than a regular <laughs> pigeon? Yeah, you know. And then you're like. Someone that you just you can't bring an animal back from extinction just for someone to go, Oh, is that a pigeon? And you're like, No, it's kind of a big deal, man. It's <laughs> it's a this pigeon has been around for a thousand. You can't you a wooly wooly mammoth. I a mean what? A wooly? Well, yeah. Is it wooly? Wooly. It's wooly. <laughs> <laughs> a w- wooly. A wooly mammoth. A wooly mammoth. <laughs> I mean, if anybody ever comments corrections to us. That's kind of crazy that they're not, they don't get that we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Like, how much stuff is said wrong? I know. They should be like, yeah, dude, that's the thing. They're morons. Penguin. Uh, <laughs> penguin. <laughs> Hi. You think they bring back penguins? Hey, I'd like to bring back a penguin. Well, sir, penguins are around and they're not extinct. I know, but just bring some back so I can say these are brought back from the dead penguins. I'll give you forty five dollars for it. Like Sling this. blade? Yeah. But, uh, penguin yeah. and biscuits. If I need to get two of these Busted. penguins, <laughs> if I get two penguins, I'll, mm-hmm. I think my zoo be mm-hmm. all took off. Oh, yeah. Hey, if I get two, how much you want for them? I'll tell you. It was in Arkansas, how right? How much? Was oh, it yeah. Arkansas? Didn't he say that the penguins? The penguins? Yeah, that was in Arkansas. Well, was Sling blade, blade was. in yeah. Arkansas? Yeah. Didn't know that. I feel like the guy would think this guy's an idiot. No, don't bring any of these animals back. You know, you had your chance. You don't think so? You don't want to see a wooly mammoth? I don't. You know? And we all got enough. Woo? What else would be but, brought? What else? Uh, what's dodo birds. Oh, we're... Dodo birds? Yeah. Dude, come on. <laughs> yeah. That was the best. That's the thing. Yeah. Where, when did dodo birds... I think like I the, feel I like, think I like I saw the, some. The 50s. Yeah. It has I a, think I saw them. I don't think no. you know, I think they went extinct in the sure. 50s. 
No, I think You're, it was early 1900s. Of a flamingo. No, I'm pretty positive I have been around <laughs> some dodo birds. Uh, I mean, I tell you what, the name dodo, they didn't stand a chance. Uh, when did? Yeah. When did? Uh, oh. A dodo <laughs> bird, if you wonder what it looks like, it looks like just yeah. a. Penguin, that's a mess. It literally, like, I mean, that's just 1690. 1690. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I said, Bruce, where is the source on that? I do. A, let me see a picture of it. <laughs> you, you saw You're one? You're like, I'm, I'm sure I've seen one. I was like, no, nah, like dude, they expired one. in the 1950s. No, let me see a real picture, not just a drawing. <laughs> uh, a dodo bird, honestly, I was wrong. It looks like. I, I mean, think you were looks, thinking about it. It looks a duck like a crazy turkey, is what it looks yeah. like. It honestly yeah. looks like a turkey that just is out there, man. Like the mm-hmm. you're, like if you're a regular turkey family walking, you're like, get up, come. You get your kids closer to you when you see a dodo bird. Where are y'all going? And he just he doesn't he doesn't know how he flies with just one wing going. Never figured out to do two. I mean, look, this is old. Dodo bird's been made fun of him for years. Maybe it's like back <laughs> off. Uh, all right. If you told me 90s, I would have easily said 1990s. Yeah. I, I did see one. The, the 50s. Uh, yeah. Well, I thought it was early 1900s. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit farther than you think. Last. All right. Let's do this last run. Through. No, it's Tasmanian Devil is the one. I th- Are they extinct? No. Are they still alive? They're still, they're still around, I right? I think they're kind I of a problem fun. over oh, there. Okay. They're like yeah. awesomes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're varmints over yeah, there. Yeah, it's uh, we're way off. Dodo birds been gone. You hear that a UFC long... fighter? His name is the Taz Mexican Devil. Oh yeah, that's his nickname. But it's Tasmania. Is a play. Oh, it was the Tasmanian it tiger. Make any sense? It went extinct in 1933. Wow. But you, that's that. not, you meant the Tasmanian Devil. I said mean. Tasmanian Devil, but I knew it was an animal in Tasmania that died uh, recently. Tasmanian oh. Tiger. Wow. Yeah. I mean, when did it go out? I keep these animals. I mean, I get it. Why? They, <laughs> I, mean, I think you bring some back. You you bring. I mean, what would you want to bring back? Uh, None of them. A but, woolly mammoth would be. I mean, that's a big deal. <laughs> that's what I. Where what do I you put them? You put them in the wild? Yeah, the article no. said that it helps the ecosystem because they had a purpose, and it they would need to bring them back to help the environment. I mean, we're doing fine now, right? Well, I'll tell you what. what I'll tell you some animals that would not want them back. I don't know. What are, <laughs> I just feel like there's some other animals that are going like, oh, look who's, yeah. uh, look look who's, who's back. Who's back. <laughs> yeah. There's a woolly mammoth comes in with all his hair hanging the penguins, down. The penguins are the, the woolly mammoth. elephants are just like, oh, look who's showed up. Hey, where you been? You been lost? He's like, I've been dead. I went extinct. And they're like, we don't even know what that means. He goes, you wouldn't. <laughs> You're going to find out. Yeah. It was interesting the re- the ways they had for bringing them back. Some of them are DNA stuff. Some One of them was just breeding two hairy elephants again and again and again. Oh, and like recreating them that <laughs> yeah. way. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, that's a loose. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Either bring it back or don't. <laughs> yeah. Don't be like, you know, just, it's like, well... It's got a lot of hair what on gives, it. So you have the woolly mammoth DNA. What gives birth to it? I don't know. You know? Chicken. Do you build an artificial womb? Or the hen. What? You know? So the hen has sex with the <laughs> That's perverse. Chicken. Yeah, that's perverse. Something's missing. Something's missing. All right. Uh, let's go through these real fast. All right. We got to gotta be done. This is too much. This is the episode that never is coming out. Uh, I think it should. It's been fun. Yeah, uh, well, you would. Uh, taking shots. That was a joke. I feel like we've had a good time. <laughs> I know, that was a good guess. Yeah, well, you would think it was fun. <laughs> uh, all right. Is that? That's all. I'm done with that joke. Uh, <laughs> keeps pressing the penguin button like we're on radio. No one can even hear that problem. Good morning radio. Good night. Uh, his timing is, I mean, it shows. <laughs> I thought that was it's a little off. I thought it was good. 
Thank you, Aaron. Yeah. Thank you. I had forgotten about just what I forget about it. You Thank you. Say. It's perfect timing. There you go. This guy over here. Like that that being elf. said, we're probably probably done. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You, yeah. Right. One of them was I'll give you two. The folks in Elizabeth Tun. <laughs> love it. Uh so your biggest fan base is population of fifteen hundred, it said. <laughs> uh Great white shark versus salt wild crocodile. Let's give you this is like running a rundown of yeah. just highlights. All right, last night we saw the great white shark versus salt well, saltwater crocodile. Great white shark. Shark was looking for food. Who wasn't? The crocodile bit the tail and then bit off the great white shark's fin and later clamped onto its nose. The crocodile attempted to death row but began to sink too. The saltwater crocodile broke off the attack to get air. Then the shark returned and bit the croc's belly. Ending the fight. Mm. I don't even come so on. This, this is was, a virtual simulation. Yeah, of, this is oh. from the Discovery Channel where okay. they just did this. The crocodile bit the tail, then bit off the great white's fin. So his tail and fin are gone. But then the shark came back and got him in the belly. And then he needed air. Can they breathe underwater for a say, long time? A crocodile could just That's stupid leave. He could go on land. I mean, is that not a tremendous advantage? Well, over they a shark? wanted to fight. <laughs> so why do they have to fight in the shark's territory? Well, because the shark goes, you know where I am. If you want me, you got to know. You know where to find me. I can't go anywhere. That's where they ran into each other. It just happened. That's, White rhino. Right I don't do that. Uh, lion versus tig tiger. Just a. This is the big brawl. This is the one everybody's like, what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. Tiger tried to. The lion tackles the tiger with a surprise charge. Typical lion. Didn't even tell him that he said, I don't want to fight. It was the last thing the tiger heard. And then he comes back and fights him just out of nowhere. Just, do you want to fight? No, I'm good. <laughs> I can handle not fighting. Arr, 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 arr. And then he comes back. The tiger tried to bite the lion's throat, but the lion shook off the attack. The big cat scratched. Neither could lay a blow. The tiger tried to end the fight. The lion, uh, but the lion's mane, mane deflects his aim. The lion is more skilled at fighting, and he managed to get a throat bite. And killed the tiger. These could all go either way. Uh, this they one all seem pretty wanted, close. They all seem close. I mean, uh, it's good seeding. Hippopotamus versus bull shark. That's kind of interesting. Hippopotamus had a wound, and the smell of the blood attracted the bull shark. I mean, how can you say that they're fighting? I say you're setting when you're up starting these out. Yeah. yeah, you go. All right, hippopotamus, no, but, hand behind his back, but, yeah, missing but, an eye. <laughs> His stomach leg were too thick for the bull shark to bite, but the bull shark ripped the, his tail off and made the hippo angry. The hippopotamus bit down on the bull shark's head. Hippopotamus are wild, man. There, it's it is nuts how much they. It's I mean it's just, if you've ever seen that one the way it runs in the water they kill like, a ton they, of people a ton of people year, huge yeah. threat yeah uh, yeah it's just there it's funny it's like you know you just hungry hungry hippo it's a fun game and it's just yeah, this yeah. I mean brutal animal. If I had to be an animal, I almost a hippo is a pretty solid animal to go to. Wow. You really have no threat. I mean, right. no threat. Mm -hmm. Nothing can get you. You're stronger than everything. And you're so big, an alligator is not going to come at you. Elephant. Uh, but, I mean, I, I, a hippo could, you know, you just never going to be put in a situation where you go probably have to fight an elephant. But, but a hippo would... A hippo could, I mean, they just, I don't know, man. It's crazy. They're super mean. Uh, polar bears versus walrus. I'm kind of getting, the polar bear attempts to flee, but the walrus finishes the battle by driving its tusk into the, I mean, so the walrus wins? That's wow. kind of crazy. Wow. He tried to bite and scratch. Skin was too thick. Walrus left. The polar bear gets dragged into the water. As the walrus flees, the polar bear gets dragged into the water, and the walrus goes, gored the polar bear by sinking its tusk into it. Uh, as the war as the walrus flees, the polar bear gets dragged into the water. All right. Uh, I mean, these are uh, lion versus now crocodile. Uh, the crocker erupted into the, onto the his neck. A death row from the crocodile ended the fight. Good. I mean, I'm just flying <laughs> through these now. Anaconda versus jaguar. Everybody's wondering. Snake attempts to flee. <laughs> All these animals flee. None of them just walk away. They flee, but the jaguar fishes the anaconda out of the water. Anaconda then bit the jaguar's skull, wraps around it, killing it this time. So the anaconda seems like it was up. It was winning. <laughs> it tried to leave. The jaguar wouldn't end up, wouldn't just let things go. 
Gorilla versus Leopard. Gorilla tries to avoid a fight. Typical Gorilla. <laughs> but the Leopard wouldn't back off. The Gorilla's going, no, nah, I don't. I don't know. And the Leopard's like, what if I'm over here now? Do you remember where I was? And the Gorilla's like, yeah, you were just right there. He always remembers where. Yeah, dude, you were there, there, and there. I've been watching you the whole time. Every time you move, I know all your moves. You were in that tree, down to that tree, down to that tree, now down, down to that tree. Yeah, I get it. I got a great short-term memory. I was the chimp. And he goes, uh, dude, it's a joke. Oh, my God. I have to handle the comments, so I'm just clarifying, folks. I, I knew. No, that's... Oh, man. Uh, fun, fun police showed up. And- <laughs> Good night, dude. I mean, that's unbelievable. He's a professional comedian. I like to. I mean, that's like honestly getting a fun joke going and then just going, hey, could we get back to the list? I mean, that's <laughs> like unreal, dude. Unbelievable. <laughs> honestly. Uh, who cares now? We had a good thing going as Gorilla. I like thing. accuracy in my jokes. I know, but it's. Uh, I need to cut. I <laughs> we got one more. Mike should be Let's cut bring off. it home. <laughs> American alligator versus American black bear. The alligator bit the bear, leaving a wound once again. However, it only bit fur, fat, and muscle, which I would think are pretty gigantic things to get bit. Say, I mean, yeah. that's. It's like, don't worry, <laughs> just bit yeah. through the leg, and he still has another leg. The black bear fought back. The gator tried to do a tail swipe, but the bear dodged it. Running out of energy, the alligator tried to retreat into the water, but the bear stopped it. It rolled over, and the black bear scratched the gator's belly, ending the fight wow. with just a scratch. The belly seems to be Rubbish. a real vulnerable spot. For, for a, a lot of these for, animals. For a lot of these animals, yeah. yeah. A lot of these animals. It turns out, belly. If you're ever in a one of these fighting with these uh, right. animals, just go through, mm-hmm. just go through the belly, and you know, and it's over. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Well, that was the the episode where <laughs> someone dies, someone gets fired, <laughs> uh, and we need to pop one in there. Uh, that's one we will do. It's a pretty good episode, though. That pretty was fun. fun. That, that was, was fun. fun. It was a fun one. So, all right. Well, thank you guys for listening. Uh, remember, always subscribe, comments. Uh, I, you've all been super nice to us, and we truly appreciate it. None of that's lost on us, and uh, we can't thank you enough. So, see you next time.